Hey everyone, today me and Kyra are very, very, very excited to announce I wrote a book. What do you think, baby? What do you think of Mama's book? Oh, you just thought about the kisses. All about the kisses. Good girl, good girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you've been following my channel for quite a little while, you might remember when three or so years ago, maybe more at this point, I'm not sure, I said this in a video. I am not a poet myself, I am just a fan of poetry. That's all there is to it. Could I write better than Almost definitely not. But ever since then, I have been working my little bum off and finding my love for writing again. And I've been really, really enjoying it. I've been chatting with some of my friends who are singer-songwriters and who also write their own poetry. And I've been getting a lot of inspiration from them. I joined a writing group here in Leeds who have been wonderfully supportive and amazing and everyone there is so nice. And mostly I've just been writing and writing and rewriting for the last three or so years. And about a year ago now, I decided that I finally felt like I was ready to maybe put together my first poetry pamphlet. And that is what this is. Reflections on Healing is a little collection of 17 of my original poems plus 20 odd of my photographs and I have a little section in the back in which I go into um, some little mini essays about the photographs, what they mean to me, why I chose to pair them with certain poems and also a little selection because you might have noticed the cover art. I painted this myself and so I've got a little section in the back about what that process was like and um, why I did the things I did, why I chose the colour palette that I did, some of the initial sketches that went into it, and a little bit of fun about that. Now I am very very aware this is my first short collection. It is a pamphlet rather than a full collection, so it's not overly long, and I'm still at the point I think where I'm finding my voice, I'm figuring out the things I want to say and how I want to say them, but a hell of a lot of work has gone into this, and a hell of a lot of emotion, and it feels like a very nice personal accomplishment and mostly I wrote this for me but also I hope that by talking about the topics that I do talk about in this because there is a lot of difficult stuff I do talk about issues like abusive relationships and domestic violence I do talk about topics like depression and self-harm and I do talk about issues in childhood and family problems and things like that but at the same time I also have some quite uplifting segments about bodily autonomy and reproductive rights and also others about sort of lust and excitement and hope for the future and so it does end on a positive note it's not all doom and gloom but basically I mostly wanted to write this for myself but I wanted to share it in the hopes that other people can understand what I was going through and feel heard themselves. I want other people to feel less alone and understand that other people have gone through the same things that they've gone through. I've gone through the same things that they've gone through and that's my reason for sharing this book. I hope it's good. I really hope people enjoy it. I hope they like it. I put a big chunk of my heart and soul into this and I'm honestly very, very proud of it. I am selling it on Amazon, it's just self-published. Um, I'm selling it basically as cheaply as I can because I still feel weird charging for my work, it feels wrong. Mostly the cost is printing costs. I make, depending on depending on exchange rates and currency and stuff like that, I'm making about £1.50 a book. Some of them I'm making £2 on, but not very many, and that's obviously going to change as exchange rates change. So I'm making about £1.50 per book, which isn't a huge amount, but it's basically as cheap as I could go without just giving it away. God, I had all these plans for things I wanted to say in this video and now I'm here. I'm just a little bit kind of embarrassed and nervous and terrified. <laughs> I don't really know where to start. It's, I think the scariest thing as well is that like I know that because I got popular by reviewing poetry online, people have every right to be very, very harsh and have high expectations for this book. So. It's a little terrifying to know that people are going to be like judging me for these very like personal, I guess like experiences I've had if that makes sense. But that's the risk of producing poetry and art, isn't it? And when you put it out into the world, you open yourself up to that. And I think sometimes we just need to be brave and get over it and be like, you know what? If people don't like it, that's okay. Ultimately, I think it's worth the risk because if my work can get through to even one person and reach one person and make them feel better and less alone, it doesn't matter so much how many people dislike it. Of course I'd like more people to like it, but you know, I think I've got to steal myself for people hating it, but also hope that they don't, <laughs> does that make sense? It's, it's, 
petrifying putting something like this out there. A lot of work has gone into this. You, oh my god, you have no idea how many drafts I've done of this. Poor Kieran, bless him. Some of these poems, I was sending him like five or six drafts a day, being like, hey look, I changed these lines, what do you think of it? Oh, I changed this stanza, what do you think of this? Oh, I completely rewrote the whole poem now, what do you think of this? And bless him, he was so wonderful. He read every one and he gave me really good feedback and he was like, oh, you know, I like this, maybe change up these lines here, maybe do this sort of thing. But other than actually writing the poems, every single thing in this book has been done by me. So the photographs are all mine, the formatting was all done by me, the editing was all done by me, and I did have a few friends read through it for me. So Kerry ann Daisy, they read through it for me and they gave me some feedback. Kieran's read through this again so many times, bless him. I had so many proofs sent to me, I had so many drafts on my computer. I think we're probably talking somewhere between 25 and 30 drafts of this book before <laughs> before I finished it. And he's seen nearly every single one. He has been an absolute amazing help. So they, they helped me pick out little things like typos and grammatical errors and stuff like that. So hopefully this book will be free of them, but if not, I'm really sorry, human error. You may have already seen me perform a couple of the poems in this book, so if you bought the uh, copy of Poetry Cove magazine that I did an interview for, there was a short selection of a couple of my poems in there. A few of those have been put in here. If you've seen my poetry videos on YouTube for Room, Misery Symphony and Heroes, they're also in this book in text format. And if you saw me perform Room at Glastonbury, that's also in here as well. But there's also a lot of new poems that haven't been seen by anyone before and that I'm absolutely petrified but very excited to share. <laughs> Some of them, like repeating cycles, play around with really unique formats. And so instead of really like pushing flowery language too much, I've tried to be quite creative with the format. I've tried to look at the average sentence structure in English, pick it apart and think, well, okay, how can we split this into segments? How can we dissect it? And how does changing certain elements change the meaning completely? And then kind of relating that to my real life. So you have this one poem that I think can be read something like 25 different ways, depending on, you know, which direction you go in. It's almost like a choose your own adventure poem, if that makes any sense. Um, and the idea is that like these minor changes make di big differences to the meaning of the poem. And that's kind of how things work in real Real life, especially in relation to relationships, which is what that poem's about. You want some attention, don't you, pumpkin? I'm sorry, I've got a crying girl here. Begging for some tummy rubs. Yes, oh, that's what you want, isn't it? You have other poems like my latest one, Puppet Master, which was actually inspired by a lot of you guys leaving comments on my Harrow Fair video, um, and that's got a slightly more traditional format. It's all written in rhyming couplets, and this is the longest poem in the book. It's a pretty chunky one. Uh, to perform this takes about seven and a half minutes, so it's a big, big boy poem. It's a narrative poem, because I'm a big fan of narrative poems, and like I say, it's all written in rhyming couplets because it's meant to mimic um, like a Fun, 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 a fun fair, that's the word I'm looking for. Like a fun fair barker trying to like drum up attention from the crowd, and it's meant to have this really light hearted, jovial tone that juxtaposes quite a dark and terrifying subject matter. So that's what I've tried to do with that. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, and like I say, all of them have photos that go along with them. Um, some of them are self portraits, some of them are. Um, that's another self portrait. Uh, some of them are of places and things like that, and some of them are places that inspired the poems. Some of them are um, just photographs that go well with the theme of the poem. Some of them are photos that I took during the event that inspired the poem and stuff like that. So there's a whole bunch of different stuff going on, and if you are interested in how I think the photos relate to the poems, not quite everyone has notes on it. Some of them just have notes of like where the photo was taken and when, but a lot of them have these little kind of mini essays about why I chose these photos, what they mean to me, and that sort of thing. So some of them have like a little insight to the poem as well and why I wrote the poem or when or you know things like that. So that's a nice little section at the back as well. Basically I wanted to make one kind of big cohesive art piece. Pamphlets are really really nice because they're short, they're a nice introduction to a poet. For your first pamphlet it is kind of about finding your voice and figuring things out but I wanted to make mine a little more than just like a couple of poems on paper. I did still want to make it a big cohesive art piece, which is why I've included poetry, photography, some mini essays, and 
my paintings in here so it's a big mix it's very very me and while I'm absolutely petrified to put it out there into the world I'm also very excited too and it would mean the world to me if you wanted to try and support my work and things like that like I say I'm not exactly going to be making much money from this I'm not expecting that but just knowing that people are interested in what I have to say and hopefully that it can go on to help some people that's what I want to get out of this and that's what I'm really excited about and also completely petrified <laughs> isn't that right Kyra? yes good girl so if you would like to get your own copy it is available to buy on Amazon it's just available in paperback at the minute I did look into the possibility of making an ebook but I think with the photographs it kind of lost some of its charm and I don't know it didn't feel quite as cohesive as an ebook so that's why I didn't want to release it like that I think the formatting is quite important in this book and I did take that into account. That said, if there's a lot of demand for an ebook, I can try and put that out there on Kindle if it's something people will be interested in, but for now I kind of want it to just be out in the world sort of as it's intended to be read, which is this big, bright, bold, cohesive art piece, if that makes sense. So yeah, it is available on Kindle. I'll put some links down in the video description and as a pinned comment on this video to the UK Amazon store, US and Canada, because I know that's where I have the biggest audience, so they're the biggest ones. Um, but otherwise, just have a look on your local Amazon store and search up my name, Rachel Oates, and hopefully you should be able to find it. Oh god, I'm absolutely terrified. That said, I do just keep looking at it and flicking through it and feeling so ridiculously proud that I did it and I finished it and this is something that I made and I don't know, it's silly but I'm, I'm very proud of myself. I didn't think I'd ever have the courage to do this, I didn't think I'd ever have the ability to do this but here I am and I am proud of it and I do think it's lovely and oh my god, you should have seen like, I have a document of notes and drafts and ideas for everything that went into this book and for 17 poems it's a 200 page document <sighs> it's ridiculous i did so much drafting and rewriting and all sorts for this book it, it, my god um, i hope it's worth it i really really do i know i'm petrified kyra what do you think baby so i've got a couple of copies here that i'm going to give out to a few of my friends as well once who've helped me um, during this process as kind of a thank you to them. Um, I also recently, I don't know if you saw this, but I did a little giveaway over on Instagram where I got people to guess the subject of my next video and one person got it in like the question and answer box and the other one DM'd me at the same time and both guessed it at the same time so I ended up sending them both a copy so hopefully they like it. And if you guys want to go and follow me over on Instagram it's just at Rachel Oates but with a zero instead of an O because my name was taken and I'm annoying like that. So it's R-A-C-H-E-L zero A-T-E-S. Yeah, if you want to go follow me over there, I'll probably do another giveaway at some point before Christmas, I hope. We'll see how timing goes because Christmas is always a busy time. I'll try and I'll try and do that. Um, but yeah, otherwise I think I think that's all I want to say for now. But other than that, here's here's my book. I'm very proud of it. I wrote I wrote a book. Um, and if you do get yourself a copy. I really, really hope you enjoy it. Some of you have noticed that I haven't been making as many poetry videos recently, and that's because my life outside of making videos has just been engulfed in poetry. I've been working so hard on this. I've been performing at a few open mic nights. I performed at Glastonbury this year, which is very exciting. And I've also been writing a non-fiction book, which at the minute just has a working title of like how to read a poem. Um, that might change, which is basically a absolute beginner's guide to poetry what it is, how to read it, how to understand it, how to interpret it, and that's still very much a work in progress at the minute, so that's being worked on in the background. But for now, this project's done, finished, I'm very, very proud of it, and um, the next step is going to be finish my non-fiction book and then start on my next collection. <laughs> oh god, I feel, I feel like a child at Christmas, but I made it. <laughs> oh, very excited. Okay, I'm gonna stop gushing now. Thank you so much for watching this. I really uh, hope if you get a copy of the book, I really really hope you enjoy it and thank you in advance so much to anyone and everyone who can or even just if you want to support my work, even if you can't, just wanting to means a lot to me as well. So thank you so much. I appreciate you guys a lot and I'll be back with another video very very soon. My next video is quite interesting actually. It's just like a little rant that I filmed about um, basically how criticism and critique in art can be really educational and how we need to look at both good and bad, bad examples and stuff to learn from it. So I'm excited for that video. I think it's going to be 
an interesting one, I hope. Anyway, I'm done for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon, and I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. <sighs> and um, buy my book, please, if you want. No, no pressure.